y'all, it's Belle. Welcome, ba welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna try something you may never even see. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to vlog. I just found what I got for Christmas video. Now, I'm laying in bed with my pup. That's what she likes to do for a couple hours a day. So, I'm enjoying the time I have with her. It's time that they she was diagnosed that I didn't think I would get, and so I'm grateful for each day. So if she wants to lay for a few hours in bed, I'll do that with her. So, and she naps, <laughs> and I read, or I watch TV. Mostly I read, though. And we just got about 16 plus inches of snow yesterday, the night before, and yesterday, and, and it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot of snow, so it's pretty cool. This book comes out today, so and I'm as far through it. I'm on page 110, so I want to get this finished so I can get my review up. It's a fun read so far. Uh, if you like superheroes and stuff like that, I think uh, young boys would like it. There's also, uh, he's an orphan and then he's adopted by these by this couple but also the character has been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder so I can't say for sure that it's good representation but that is in there so there's a lot going on and you could just bend your disbelief obviously superheroes and even the act in the beginning something that happens in the beginning out of nowhere I was like what and there's full page color or there's full page illustrations frequent throughout that are beautiful too it's just a fun book I think young boys would really love it or young kids in general, but just having a fun time with it. Enjoying it so far. And then I figured with all this snow, I have this on my want to read winter's video. My want to read winter reads <laughs> video. But with all this snow, I wanted to get going with Ice Whisperers by Alinka Stachera. I don't know who I am. I used to think it was weird that people read two books at a time, and now I have all these out. And then I finished The Rise of the Dragon Moon by Gabrielle K. Byrne. So if not, I've read her first book. I want to read her newest one, which is The Edge of Strange Hollow. And then I finished Tristan Strong. I have like three reviews to write. <sighs> and I finished the first Tristan Strong. So I started the second one, which is Tristan Strong Destroys the World. And then I'm reading the sequel of Whispering Pines. This is Infestation by Heidi Lang and Katie Wartowski. I literally just started. So, and I love their writing and books. And I love the first book of this one. So I'm very excited to continue. So, obviously, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Reading-wise. So, I'm going to do some reading now. And I'll check in in a bit. the studies John Darley and Bib Latane did in 1968 where they defined the bystander bystander effect uh, the diffusion of responsibility because I learned about that in uh, some of my psychology classes and I just thought that was very interesting and I love how that was included okay it's a little bit later and I finished just the unforgettable Logan Foster by Sean Peters came out today like I said earlier it's the 18th of January and this was a fun quick read lots of adventure superheroes some twists and such a heartwarming story too at its core and I just loved it I can't wait for the next one I just loved it and I grew more invested and more in love with the characters the further we got into it of course but it was just such great pacing and Logan is such a great character. I absolutely loved him. So I got that read. I need to pick up the next book I was sent for review because I always read a book that was sent to me and a book from my own shelves too. And then I finally got my review up for the first Tristan Strong. Sometimes it just takes me even longer when it's just so many things I want to say and I don't know how to say them. Like you see how I am. I can't summarize a synopsis. So I just I always want to get it right. And so this is just such a great book. I absolutely loved it. It's so good. And I started the second one. Like I showed you earlier. So 
so I'm excited to continue that. Man, such good books. Last update, I'm gonna get ready to heat up a uh, soup I made yesterday in the crock pot. We usually, I, eat, I cook something and I cook enough that we eat on it for two days. And yesterday I made creamy, cheesy potato soup in the crock pot, so I'll be warming that up soon. All right, warming up the soup now for supper. I'll be using on his way home. I guess I have mismatch bowls because I cannot find dishes that I love. I thought I liked these, I got these, but my husband eats more than me, so he still uses these old ones. So I need to find some that please both him and I. <laughs> I'm all ready to go. This is going to be great. It's cold today. Yay. All right, I have y'all on my pups, one of, one of my pups' beds. And I got two more smaller bookcases. One for the Alice in Wonderland room and one for my regular book room. So I'm gonna put those together now. Put my hair up. put the shelves on once I carry it upstairs because if I put them on now they'll just slide right out and fall down the stairs and probably take me with them. <laughs> and that's the other one done. Just gotta take them upstairs. Okay now we're in the bedroom to have my pup's little nap time <laughs> and I read. And I got the bookcases upstairs. I'll show you them later after I get them move where they're gonna go. Now we're gonna read. Uh, started Ice Whispers last night, and I'm on page 119. This is so different than I was expecting, and I am loving it. It's kind of, it's very dark, and I wasn't expecting that. And it's such a unique concept, and I'm just loving it. And all the illustrations throughout are so beautiful. I love this illustrator, Marco Guadalupe. Guadalupe? <laughs> I'm saying it wrong, but I'm just loving this so far. And then I started my next since I finished Logan Foster, I started my next book that's for review. So, Curious World of Dandelion by Lorraine Hall. And I just started this, so I'm only on page nine. So, so far so good. And illustrations in this one too. And I'm still reading Tristan Strong and then Whispering Pines. And these are just, they go slower because this is just something I wanted to do to where I could continue more books that I own, like series, starting series and working through them, like Tristan Strong. And uh, these were sent to me by, it's a company on Instagram, I'll uh, link. Um, so they are kind of reviewed too, so I wanted to get some. And then uh, a couple chapters a night or more, if I can, of continuing series that I have started, like the Shadow School and... Theodore Hendrix and Beasts in the Bethany and I Whispering Vines. So that's what I've been doing. These aren't like ones I read a ton of each day, just two to four chapters a day. And then my main two. So I'm gonna continue reading this. Get 
notes and reading them. I don't think I said earlier, but today is January 19th. Wednesday, January 19th. The other smaller ones on this side. And that's the new one in the Alice in Wonderland room. Now it's time to start dinner. First, I'm making a soup. Uh, and before I start the soup, I have to bake the chicken and then let it cool so I can shred it. So I'm gonna do the chicken now. Chicken's done and it's been cooling. And I'm going to start the soup. And we don't like the taste of onions. <laughs> I mean, we know it adds flavor to the food, so we don't mind cooking with it. And we follow the instructions but I chop it instead of just chopping it I put it in this that way we don't bite into an onion <laughs> when we're eating because <laughs> this chops it really fine
mozzarella cheese and I eat it with sour cream. My husband doesn't, he hates sour cream. And then I scoop, he eats it with his tortilla chips crumbled in it, but I scoop mine in the soup and the sour cream. I just use the regular round uh, Tostitos. He likes spicy, so he does the habanero. So, it's quick, it's easy, and it's so good. Another bed quote. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are gonna like these vlogs since there's not much doing in them. But whenever I remember to update, it's either when I'm cooking or when I'm in the bedroom with my pup. <laughs> it's the next day since I saw you last. It's the January 20th. And I finished The Ice Whispers by Lenka Statera. Some illustrations too in time. This was phenomenal. Like, I flew through this. It was a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, so probably definitely upper middle grade. Even though it might not appear that way. I loved it. It was so good. Such a different story than I was expecting, and it's not a bad thing. I wasn't. I was expecting a great story, and I got one, but a different kind of great story. And I, I just loved it. I cannot wait for more from her. This was so good and so atmospheric. Perfect winter read, for sure. And a, a sort of sister relationship, and it's just so good. So. And I'm still reading this, Dandy, Curious World of Dandelion, on page 77. It's a little, that was upper middle grade. This might be a little younger middle grade. I'm really enjoying it. The main character is adorable, and I'm not really sure what's going on right now. If what, if the fantasy part is fantasy or something else, I'm a little confused about that, but we'll see how, what, what happens, but... I'm thinking it's fantasy because of some other stuff that's happened. So, we'll see. Really enjoying that. And so this is the, like I showed you the, like, Tristan Strong and the other sequels that I'm continuing that I read two to four chapters a night on. But then I have my main two books. Well, my, this is the order I was doing them in, so whichever is what, first is the one I focus more on. And so this one was first, and so I focus more on it, and it got finished. Now this one will be my main novel, and I'll focus more on this one, and then I'm going to start this, and then it'll be one. <laughs> that makes any type of sense, I'm not sure. But the next of my own TBR, my own, books from my own shelf that weren't sent to me to go with a book that was sent to me, is The Misadventures of Nicholas Nab by Jenny Moore. And I have a bookmark in it, but I haven't started it yet, so I'm excited to start that. But for now, I'm going to continue this. I gained weight when we had moved to the state and then quarantine. Not a lot of weight, but I'm used to a certain weight and I have weird things with food. When I was younger, I used to have 
and eating thing. So I like to stay a certain weight and maintain it. It's a healthy weight. It's not like when I was younger. So uh, I'd lost the weight that I gained and now it's inching back up there. Even though I hardly eat, <laughs> it's very frustrating. Getting older, man. So I'm gonna do it like I did before to lose it. And my husband, he needs to lose some too, just because as he gets older, he looks fine to me. But just when you get older, you need to take care of your body and stuff. So I'll do one of these meals. And just throw stuff together. Usually I get fresh freebies and done myself, but I just haven't found that way, so I got it where the store's already done it. They're just organic, washed and ready to eat. Fresh green beans. And baby carrots. too long uncovered the tips of the some of the green beans got a little darkened but I like them like that Pretty. Mm. all right y'all uh, I didn't do a closeout thing so this is me several days later doing a closeout I did it for that vlog is the span of one week from one Tuesday to the next Tuesday. There's a whole bunch of nothing I know, but I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I'll try to figure out what I'm going to do as far as vlogs go. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would love that if you would like to. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.